Hello and welcome to a blisteringly cold northern France. We're here to go and see some toys. This is what you'd expect from Toy Spon Tour, isn't it? Exactly. Anyway, we're going to a toy show and we're going to have a ball. Not that kind of ball, you muppet. Come on. I've stopped. It's sliding. It's sliding. <laughs> <laughs> That montage, we've warmed up a little bit. I'll tell you what, my feet are still frozen. I've definitely picked the wrong footwear for this uh, venture today. Yeah, well, I brought me uh, Tom Baker's scarf because it's his 90th birthday today, so that'll come in handy later on. But more importantly, why are we back in France? Yeah. We're back in France because we've been invited back by Flavian. Now, we met Flavian on the Italian job. Uh, when we were in Italy filming, Flavian was at the show and he bought a couple of items from Jonathan Ross's collection. So, he then rang me up afterwards and said, uh, Joe, I have remorse. I should have bought the other set as well that you had. So I said, aha, I have not just one other set, I have two sets that you may like. So he said, look, come to France. I will wine, I will dine you, and we will have an amazing time at this show, and I'll get you into the show early. So basically, we've got some toys he wants, He's got us an invite into the show as an early bird, early doors. No one else apart from trade will be in there. And we're going to go and buy a lot of toys. That's why you call it the French Connection. Because that's the French Connection to the Italian show, I get it. So we're yeah. going to Bors International Toy Show. Bors International? Bors. You can't call it Bors International. It's more interesting than Bors. So what are we expecting? Diecast? I can see yeah. on the website, but what else? French toys. There's going to be loads. There's going to be like space toys. There's going to be cool, cool like Battle of the Planets type stuff. There's going to be Shogun Warriors, man. I'm telling you. Asterix. Asterix. <laughs> or even Asterix. Well, Asterix. Asterix. Next to that. Ulysses 31. Tip tip. But also, do you remember back at Lily Baloo? Do you remember the Dick Dastardly meme machine? Oh, now you're talking, man. Now you're talking. I mean, that's, mate, that's a pipe dream. We're never going to find, I mean, that. You never know. It, I mean, if you're going to find one anywhere, you're going to find it here, I would have thought. But it's just such a cool toy. And it's been a bit like wacky races driving through Paris. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, clench yeah. the steering wheel. But no, I feel like I've uh, I've done the hard yards to come here, and it's been, I'm looking forward to it. And not only am I looking forward to the food and uh, drink that I've been bribed with, and Lee, you know, seeing Fabian again and being able to show him these amazing toys from Jonathan. I'm also looking forward to going buying toys for myself and for the shop. I reckon we're going to see Star Wars, some Meccano stuff. I'd love to buy some of that. And I think also, we're probably going to make some new friends, new contacts. Yeah. Lead us to another place. So. Well, the reason we're here is for a contact that we made in Italy. Exactly. Let's get on the road. Exciting. Look down there. There's like blokes piling out of vans as toys. You can see straight away it's got that feel of a. I think stuff's going down in the car park, man. This is cool. This is cool. Right. Let's go and see if we can get amongst it. Let's go and find Flavian as well. You alright? It's not hot like Rome, but. No, it's not. It's freezing. It's cool. <laughs> Welcome to Orléans. Where? Orléans. <laughs> there you go. You know what? It's, I'm very excited to be yeah? here. Yeah? Yeah. There's so many people out in the car park with stuff. I was I was thinking there was training going on in the vans, but then it just looked like there was just ah, a, lot of a little bit. So, this is the biggest fair in France. You have more than 400 stalls, you know. A lot of cars, a lot of vintage, as yeah. you like. Honestly, the, the space is really cool because it's warm, it's really well equipped, so... You had me at warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cold. 
So I hope you will find good things. Yes, we're, we're intent. We've got some things for you in the back of the van as well. I hope to see, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you. Do you want to see them later? Uh, Are you selling as well this weekend? Yes, with my father, yeah. There you go, brilliant. So, okay, we're looking forward to that. So one of the most exciting things about being at Toy Fair is this bit, the bit before, it's the potential. What's in the boxes? What delights am I going to see today? I don't know, there's, you know, I'm going to see things today that I've never seen before. And that, that fills me full of joy, man. This queue's getting ridiculous, but I've been told we can get in the back way. Get a bit of early doors treatment, come on. Oh, that's a bit of a bigger Citroen scale model than I actually uh, perhaps wanted to buy this weekend. Look at that. Lovely bit of history as soon as you walk in. Lovely old Citroen. Beautiful. Well, in Italy, we had, obviously, a lot of banana boxes. But in France, we've got apple boxes. Look, pink ladies. <laughs> this is all going to be full of toys. It's going to be amazing. Panard 24 CT, like a lot of, this is what happens with a lot of them, they go warped and basically they, uh, they flex like trying in the UK with the trains. Over here we've got the plastic, 143rd scale. That car in real life is one of the most stunning cars in the world, it's a beautiful car. Not plastic, this is a die cast, more modern model, but look, the real version of that is going to set you back about 25,000, 20,000 euros these days, very rare. Hope he's not spending all his Jonathan Ross's money. Okay. Uh, four, four, three, four, four, four. He always a Shogun. <laughs> yes, yeah, definitely, definitely Flavian Stall. Oh, nice things. Let's go. Good. <laughs> Fantastic things. What you would have, you know, an Ami 6 in here, in this lovely set, and then you would build it up over parts to build a complete model. And you've got two models in there to build up at the end, and it came in certain sections. So the body shoulder in there, here we've got another base plate, there's the partial windows. I'd love to use one of these. Tyres went in there. This one's got two. It only came in one, I think. You've got one model and built it up yourself and painted it. Lazy on the manufacturer, but look at that, it's beautiful. I found a lovely one of those, that's really cool, man. It's a production line in a the box. There's that Lone Ranger doll. This stall's great. Yeah, J West, that's it. America. Yes. Bonanza, Bonanza. 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 Yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. Um, how much are the Lone Ranger? Combien? 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 So. Okay. And that that one. Okay. I think that's. Uh, but yeah, maybe. Can you write it down? Okay. Lone Rangers are kind of. They're thereabouts with what I get for them, and it's not, you know, I'm keeping my powder dry, the show's not open yet. That's tempting, but that would be for me, and it's, yeah, I mean, I just love that. That's really nice. I'm going to have a serious think about that one. I'm going to try and hide it, so nobody else buys it. That's a real nice thing, that. That's cool, man. That's cool. Right, onward. Lots of amazing die casts, lots and lots and lots. But I'm not looking for that because I know that's going to be here. I know it's going to be here tomorrow. I said we'd find these in France and we have. 
Hello. Hello. Is this your? Are you the vendor? Yes, c'est moi. Ah, brilliant. How, how much is the Goldorak? The prix? Combien? How, how much? The prix? Combien? Yeah. 800. 800. My your, toy. Your toy from when you were a child? Amazing. Nickel. Complete. Very nice. Exact. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. Lorac, yeah. <laughs> so how, how much is it? How, how much ah, can you talk okay. about? Okay, okay, okay. 800. Wow. That's what I thought. 800 euros. Uh, we'll all, buy you that. All original. Yes. No yeah. Repro. No, no repro, repro parts. No repro. You can tell. On here, his sticker. He's lovely. Was it when you were, when you were a boy? Yes. Yeah, wow. That's amazing, man. That's really cool. Could I have a look in that box? Is that okay to look underneath? Yeah, I'm getting some fun. Look at this little box of fun here. This is a big rarest. A very big rarest. Into 200 pochettes and five albums. Wow. Scellé. Sealed. No, yeah, yeah. No pen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very, very rare. Yeah. Maybe only in, 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 this, in this condition. Maybe. Wow. Look in here, we've got some amazing stuff in here. So we've got a nice... Tomorrow, uh, I, tomorrow you, you come to study. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah beautiful. To the Valpa. Beautiful, it's really good. I'm looking forward to seeing your stall tomorrow. Okay. Your stall's gonna look beautiful yes. tomorrow. That's yes. good. Merci beaucoup. Okay, come up. Nice to see you. All right. I've seen one of those before recently. This is one of these stalls where you kind of, it's got lovely, impressive things. And this Shuko set, German, really, really sweet. It's just all the accessories. There's a lot of play value in that as a kid. It's, it's just a time forgotten. You know, it, it's just something about this. It just screams France, doesn't it? It's beautiful. That's really cool. Look at that. Cousteau. So is this like submarine type thing, I guess. I'm not sure if it's actually a toy or a kitchen appliance. <laughs> All right, so you put the eggs in, and then you whisk and whisk. <laughs> really weird. It's cool, that is, man. I like that a lot. That's really different, really, really different. I told you we'd see stuff I've never seen before. Uh, Bonjour anglais? Yes. Yes, oh, brilliant. <laughs> ah, we're Perfect. Gonna be fine. Oh, amazing. <laughs> How much is um, your uh, gold, uh, your um, radine? Two hundred and fifty. Okay. And three hundred and fifty. Okay. And the little one? Uh, one hundred and thirty. One hundred and thirty. Um, reproduction, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. Quite hard to get, but yeah, repro. It's cute as well, man. The bendies. Thirty. And how, how much is that one? Thirty. Thirty. Yes. You, you do twenty-five. Yes. I'll have that one for twenty-five. Thank you. Amazing. Thanks very much. Ah, oh. uh, Captain Flam. Captain Flam. Captain Flam. Flam. Captain Flam, he's British, you see, we don't get it, so. Ah, yes. There we go. Captain Future. Uh, yeah, Captain Future. Uh, Captain over. Future, yeah, yes. Captain Future there. And he had those amazing big sets that were really cool with the little figures, and then you got the three and three quarter ones, which are really cool. And he got these bendy ones, which I rather like as well. That's first, thank you. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Haddock. Calculus. Very cool, man. Snowy. Oh, Snowy's gone a bit flat. He's a bit flat. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's a sort of roadkill snowy version. He's got tint in there, look. These are really sweet. I like these a lot. They're cool, man. Okay, something to think about. Thank you very much. There you go. Captain Flam or Captain Future. Oh, oh, hello. 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 We said. 
said I wouldn't find one, I've just seen one. Oh man. This is a great store, look at all this stuff. Oh man. How much is everything? We just go home and buy the entire store and go home. I can even see shit. Yeah, that's cool, man. He's oh, got Phoenix there. So these sort of European, Japanese influenced sort of ships, once again, these were big in France. You know, Ulysses was a real big thing here. So we've got, oh, so, oh look, there's an old friend. We just, we just bought one. Captain Flam, there's different ones. Captain Harlock. And here, look. I can't really see him. No, I need to try and... There, there they are. There, I know, I know, I know. That's the one spot to have, guys. Right, that's all that group there. Point them out. Is he? Ah, right. Yeah, cool. Space. What's that? That's a robot. That kid is a robot. Really? Oh, right, OK. Well, Matthew, this could be where we uh, we spend all our money and go home. I think that's kind of like we're, we're staying here till the man comes back. We're setting up camp. The British will put up a flag. We'll own it then. <laughs> Excuse me. Bonjour. Yeah, bonjour. Oh, okay. He's busy. Polly vous anglais? No. No. Oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have no uh, uh, project here. How much is the Justra? Um... Just the price? Yes. Trois cents. Okay. Should we write Three, it down? Zero zero. Three hundred. Three hundred. And, and once upon a time figures? Uh, Twenty-five. 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 Thirty. 30. Sort of trying to deal on that. Way! Oh, throwing, <laughs> throwing amazing <laughs> toys at me. That's very cool. So, Captain Future. Captain Future. Yeah, Captain Flam. Is it Captain Flam here? Right, Captain Flam. Right, Flam here. Captain Future, and that's Captain Future as well. Right. That's very cool. How much is the Future comic? Uh, 250. Okay, let's write it down. This is going to be a lot of calculator work here. My calculator. Uh, yes. Oh, on. There we go. 250. For that one? Uh, Cosmo liner? Okay. I've got 300 on that. Can I, can I see the um, big dastardly car? Oh, man. How much for everything? <laughs> Wow. Wow. Something we don't see. Some cocaille. Wow. Professor Simon. This is amazing stuff, man. Wow. Some of these I've never seen before. Oh, this is amazing stuff. This is amazing stuff. Yeah. It's 450 euros for that one. It's complete, huh? Yeah. Oh, tracks as well. Good. Wow. Wow. This is so cool, man. What a great stall. What I'm thinking, I wish I bought more money. What I'm thinking. Um, yeah. I can't go for them. I'm, I'm very tempted to buy the Wacky Racers, Dick Dastardly car. I'm very tempted to buy the Once Upon a Time, because that's what we came for. You know, we've, it's two things off the hit list. Uh, the problem is, once again, I'm being a terrible businessman and just buying stuff for ourselves, which isn't good. So yeah, man, so much cool stuff here. I'll we'll have a look at that. I'm moving, I'm moving stuff and that guy over there is throwing stuff on his table. Now these, at the back end, normally have got some issues and some damage. This one... I think that's pretty much bang on. I'm having a crisis on this. It's really cool, man. Needs a good clean up. I don't know if I want to risk it, leaving it. I don't know. Um, could we do a deal on the, the Once Upon a Time set? Um. Uh, the group? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't matter what language it's in, there's always this bit. Calculator is out. Could you do, um, could you, um, I took it. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> Most super cool. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Straight away. Straight away. Something we said we probably wouldn't see, and we found them straight away. How much is uh, Ulysses? Oh, thank you so much. Come back. I bought something from this man. I will buy more from this man. <laughs> Remember this man's face. He will reappear. <laughs> Great to see you in real life. Oh, thank you. Good to see you as well. Thank you. Keep watching. Yeah. Toy Shomato, yes. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Oh, wow. What's the story with these? I rather like these. Sort of a uh, nice uh, repro cool boxes. Not made to look like the real thing, but just like a, a real nice sort of. That's cool. Captain Zargon. This one as well, same thing. Really cool. That sword you saw with various figures. In fact, his sword also went with him. Really cool. But these are these are great man. Really nice. A lot of 12 inch goodness on here. So A-wing pilot, always a problem because his blasters popped out and he's, he, the figure's been used as well. But yeah, cool. Lots of lovely Star Wars things. I see a nice bit of Star Wars. No Meccano though, just some UK boring tri-logo stuff we see all the time. You know, it's exciting for everyone else. For us, we're like, oh, it's just tri-logo. You know, I like the ones that get the little offers, you know, free the emperor, because we all sent off for them, didn't we? We all sent off for emperors and different things, Dengar, B-wing pilot, prune face, that's lovely. The Carno box, that's nice. See, I'm a sucker if it's got, see, Star Wars for me now is a little bit boring. As I often say, but if it's got a different different make on it, I'm quite into it. So, as a toy, it's not the best, for honest with you. But the fact it's a Meccano one makes it all of a sudden interesting. Um, excuse me, how much is the? Uh... That's three hundred. Huh? Three hundred. Three hundred. Is that awesome? Three hundred fifty. Ah, three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty. I was going to say that's about. It's about what I thought it would be. That's not. Can I have a look? Is that okay? Can I have? You've got the okay. No. Ah, oui, 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 oui. Yeah. 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 Le, le boîtage a été refait. Oh, wow. pas le... Ah. Missing the. Ah, the back end of the battery. Battery. Pour un ami, je peux faire. Je peux descendre. It's where you open the battery cover and it it snaps. Nice and clean in there. He's nice. I rather like the homemade inner. That's really cool. Okay. He's a no for now. I love that box though. He's a no for now. I, you know, I'm looking at Star Wars when I should be looking at exciting things. Could I have a look at him? I've got a rather adorable six million dollar man knockoff. How much is he? Ça c'est le momie le visage c'est le faux mascatron. C'est un bootlegger yeah. from mascatron. Yeah, how, how much is that? How much? 250. Yeah. Really cool. I thought it'd be expensive. This is one of these things. It's 250 euros. It's a bootleg mascatron and it's just it's just smoking hot. It's just really really cool. They used to be really cheap. You supposed to pick them up for not a lot. They've really picked up in price. But if you see one cheap, pick it up. It might look rubbish, and between you and I, it really is. <laughs> but it's it's great fun. Look at that. 
brilliant. Oh, the face. You get a Planet of the Apes style face there as well. That is brilliant, but terrible. It's beautiful. But terrible, <laughs> yeah. What is Spanish? Spanish. I mean, they've put Spider-Man's car and it is a Chrysler 180. I mean, this was a car much derided. Even in France, it wasn't particularly well loved. It is, oh, it's, that's brilliant. That is really cool. How, how, how much is that? This one, sir. Uh, this one, sir. 250. Yeah, all the things I like are expensive. It's amazing. <laughs> you um, have very good taste. Uh, well, thank you, thank you. Um, and the, the God Phoenix? The God Phoenix, Le même prix, moi. Moi, je suis toujours. Moi, je fais les prix identiques. Same price. Uh, okay. Sauf quand il y a l'étiquetage. It's really cool. I really like it. But I, I want to. These are amazing as well. How much are they? Là, les prix Oui. Ouais, euh, je peux faire un effort 350 le Superman. Tour de 350. 300. 350. French box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really it's cool. Written. Pim Pim Toys. Yeah, yeah. So, French box and Mego, or Mego, depends on what you call the toys. I like to call it Mego, um, but other people go, no, it's Mego. Uh, and then over here, Pim Pim Toys. Really cool. Great little set, that is. Cool little set. They're amazing. How, how much is the set? The three? Mil, one thousand. That's what I thought. Mil. So we've learned. We're learning together, children. Mil is one thousand, and a mil is too much for me. <laughs> However, mais, that's mais, avec un sourire, je peux, je ah. peux des, avec un, un large with, sourire. With a smile, it can do. On, on peut négocier uh, yeah. légèrement. On peut négocier. Uh, I, I, there's so many beautiful things here I need to buy, that I kind of. That, yeah, they're cool though. I love them. This lady though, look at the stuff she's bringing out. Look at this. This is uh, Mexican bootleg stuff. Yes. And it is amazingly cool. And they, uh, you know, have no idea what's going on there. This is, this is amazing. Are they still making some of this? Is this still new? Yeah, it's... Because uh, the Orco is like new, isn't it? Yeah, it's new, but it's only Mexico. Fabrication only, only in Mexico. Yeah, but these are not amazing, but I love them at the same time. How much are they? 20. 20. 20. Well, I'm not not buying him for 20 euros. He's brilliant. I should buy more. These are brilliant. I think they're better without their cards. I think they're great. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much is he? He's, oh my goodness me. Wow. He's heavy as well. And he's sort of vaguely articulated. Wow. He's cool. Oh my goodness me. It's not quite the real thing, is it? Uh, Artist, Mexican, Mexican art. Yes, yeah. Uh, their name is Fran Misterio. Wow. In Mexico, is very famous. He's great. Can I can I see if there's one slightly worse than him? Because I like the worst one. Who's worse? Oh, he's great. I like his teeth. Though. Oh, Battle Cat. Oh, that's amazing as well. Who's worse, kids? I like this guy, but I don't like. I like the fact his teeth are painted. I don't know. Maybe I should just get both. I don't know. It's cool, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, what, what's the story with this one? Is this this is solid. This is heavy. This is booklet. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Two. Wow. This is the toys, Mexican toys. Yeah. They're brilliant. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Right. I'm gonna have one of those. So I'm gonna be twenty euros. So. Okay. And I'll pick one in a minute. <laughs> okay. He's great. How much? How much is he? $200, wow, he's $200, because he's um, painting. Yeah, unique. Yeah, unique. Uh -huh. yeah. They are the art, only one. Art, art piece. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I want to say. you. Um, I don't know what to pick one. I like the guy with the white teeth, even though I think there's... I, I'm going to pick him. I'm going to pick the original one. So he's coming home Hi. with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So that's it, that's the end of day one. It came to a rather abrupt end. It was just all of a sudden, people were drinking wine on the table. Very much like we see this with Europe, people like just break bread together, it's lovely. And speaking of which, we're going out for a meal with some of our influential toy friends that we met today. Looking forward to that, but I'm pleased with what I bought. I haven't bought much, but tomorrow I know what I'm getting. So not just the Masters of the Universe knockoff, blue dude, fake, I mean he's, 
This is pretty much brand new, but it's just so, so rubbish and cool. I like it. We've got Once Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time space Dave. figures. We've got, as well as that, I didn't realise, there was actually a Battle of the Planets figure in there and a Gadaikin figure. Or Gatchaman, that is it, Gatchaman. I must get these names right. One day I will, I promise. But I'm learning all the time. Brilliant. What a great day. Salute, my friend. Salute. <laughs> Salute. Coming off, the scarf's coming off because I mean business. Wow! Battle of the planet. That is horrendous. You can find this show every year in January in Orléans. Oh, why don't I ask about that? Bye bye. <laughs>